everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more Let's Play Banjo to a Blind for the Nintendo 64 in the last episode. The last episode was my last naive episode. I I was under the impression somebody actually told me that uh, that the game took 55 jiggies to complete and it actually takes 70 and knowing that there are 90 in the game total then that means there are only 20 that I can't get and after I get done with this puzzle I will talk more about that. Give me just a second. That's a random one. Alright, get the corner pieces first, BC. You know how to do puzzles. Alright. That one's there. The last bottom. I don't know. It goes right there. I, I don't really see... Yeah, this puzzle isn't any much harder than the other ones that I've had to do. I never did the puzzles in the first one, so I don't... Never got any practice. Alright. Side one there. Let's finish up the top this way. Let's finish up the bottom right there here. Now this is Cloud Cuckoo Land. I believe that's what it's called. Which is kind of a, a corny name, but you know, whatever. It looks like it looks like a snow level, it looks like. Or, the, could, what, what could this be? I see a, a long trail going up to a cave. This isn't what I expected with Cloud Cuckoo Land. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's challenge! Eight! So now the Great One will show you the way. The monolith. It doesn't look like a cloud land. I thought it was supposed to be a cloud land. It's a cloud land, right? Because I haven't even seen any of the cloud land. Regardless of what it's called or what it looks like, I haven't even seen it. That's probably the one thing that I haven't ever seen. At least if I have seen it, I don't remember it at all. Jiggy Wiggy. So... Yeah, this is the... It's gonna go all the way from the... Wait, what? Yeah, okay. It's turning. I was like, wh where is it? So what's gonna appear there? Like a whirlwind or something? Like a Spyro the Dragon whirlwind? A bubble? A bubble? And that's gonna take you up to the clouds, I, I take it? That's how that works? Alright. I won't argue. You do not have enough jiggies to attempt challenge number nine. Well, what's number nine, then? There's not, there's not another level, because this is the last level. So how many does it take to get to the next one? That's the question. 55. Okay, so that's, that is the, uh, that's the, the boss level. Apparently, you have to have 70 to get into the final boss. <laughs> I heard that, and I literally, I almost rage quit this Let's Play. I was, I was this close from, from saying, fuck it, I don't, I don't need to put up with this anymore in my life, but, you know, I'm only 21 jiggies off, and here's, here's the conundrum that I'm at. I only have 49 right now, I need 70 in order to get to the final boss, apparently, according to a lot of people. Oh, I'm in a bubble. Look at me. So... That means, and if there are 90 Jiggies in the game total, which are 10 each, look at the island. Oh, this is neat. Oh, this is neat. It's not what I expected. Oh, wow, this is really not what I expected. What's this thing? Okay. This is not what I expected at all, actually. What is that guy? There's one teleporter. Is that a kangaroo? Fancy little physical exercise for of all. Uh, not really. Yes, you do, Banjo. Right, I'm Mr. Fit, and I'm really fit, I am. So fit, in fact, that if you can beat me in three events, I'll give you my fitness gold medal. That's nice. It is, actually. So you can probably see, event one is the high jump. The bar is set at my best height. All you need to do is jump over it to win. Alright, I can't... He's saying hut too. That's that's adorable. How do I jump on this? Is this jello? What is this? Oh yeah, so I, I came to the conclusion... Can I climb this? No, I can't. I came to the conclusion that since I have 49 of 70 jiggies, then there are 10 jiggies in each level. There's 8 levels. So that's 80. And then the other 10 come from 
the Jinjos in the overworld. They count for overworld jiggies. So considering, let's do some math here real quick. Considering that these, the Jinjo ones really are, they just have to do with luck. They're, lo they're all luck based, so I don't really, I can't just go and get them since all the Jiggy or the Jinjos are randomized and I can't just go and get the colors I need. I have three of them right now, which means, oh, that's only nine. Okay, what's the other one? All right, so basically I have three of the ten. So there's, there's seven Jiggies. So out of the 20 that I can spare in the game, I have 13 left. And if you do more of the math, I only have three from Jolly Roger Lagoon. So that's seven more. See, that's seven more Jiggies I can't get. So that means there are only six other Jiggies in the game that I, I can't get in order to beat the game. I have every single one from Witchy World and the very first level. I need only need two more in Glitter Gulch, so if somebody could let me know what those are, that'd be awesome. Three more in Pterodactyl Land. I know what maybe one of them is. Six more in Grunty Industries. Seven more in Hailfire Peak. Somebody was actually nice enough to to give me lots of lots of hints, and by hints I mean they told me what to do to get all the rest in Hailfire Peak. And I'm gonna go do, go do that in a later episode. And then the ones in this level, obviously. So I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll see how that works. How do I jump? What is it? What is drilling the Jello does nothing. I don't get it. I take it you're supposed to bounce off this. Either that, or it's the thing you're supposed to land on. But I doubt that would be the case. Let me look at this real quick. As my frame rate drops incredibly. Holy crap! That. That's not a kangaroo, he's an anteater. How is that relevant, game? Alright. Do I have to time my jump? Like... Okay, I can't... Okay, this, this is... <laughs> this is boring and stupid and... I don't know how to do it, so we're going to... What's that down there? Is that a castle? Looks like a castle. Okay, well, I, this this is obviously the same exact thing, but I can't... What does this flower do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the f flower ate me and then spit me out. Oh, it's where you... Okay, so it is where you land. So it's not something that you just... That you land on. Because I've actually seen high jump before, and there's... Things that you land on. I do know the transformation for this level. That's one thing. I do know that it's a B... There, is this a hole? No, it looks like a puddle. Okay. Oh, it bounces. It okay. All right. This this here, this is confusing already. All right, so I have several ways to go, but I I guess I'm just going to start off with what the level intended me to explore first, which would be this cave here. That farmhouse there. That farmhouse there? That farmhouse there. Central Cavern. Well, this is a central hub, I guess. It says it's central, so we're gonna go with central. Hello? What the, what? They're, they're, now, hmm. And they make dollar noises when they come out of, what? They make, they're cash registers. What, what? And then there's an evil, oh my gosh. I'm two honeycomb pieces off from another hit, by the way. I think that's the, f the last hit in the game that I need. Maybe. I'm not precisely sure. Why did they just pop out of the... Look! 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 And it, 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 salami and a candy cane. Why? Why is that okay, game? Why? It, and that one has a flower. Do you think a flower is going to hurt me? I don't think it will. But do you think it will? I'm talking to the game, not, not my viewers. But I mean, Game, do you think it will? Look at that flower. Look at the, oh, it's an evil flower. It's a flower with fangs. That's, I do also know that there is an evil version of Mumbo in this level, which I take it is this here, I guess. No, there's no freaking, uh, what's a, a Globo behind it? Now, is this the evil one? Oh, that's, that's, oh, come on, just, f game, screw off. 
putting a ninja right there in front of me. Now, is this the evil robo, like, didn't, uh... No, it's the real one. Alright, well... That's... Why do they put a Minjo in his house? Why would they do that to you? Well, I can't act... I can't utilize him yet. But I guess we'll just do... Whatever. Here, let's kill the flower again. There's this thing I can climb here. The thing about this is there's so many places to go that I, I have no idea where to start. It's the same way DK64 is, I'm sure, too. Oh, red. Red isn't good, apparently. It's like... Bramble. Alright, let's do it this way. Screw off, B. There's an egg there? Is that an egg? When in doubt. Shit eggs. Okay, so... I take it I have to hatch this. No, don't do that. So I need... Oh, there was a bridge here at one point, I assume. There's a moldy piece of cheese. That's lovely. A pot of gold. Uh, other stuff. Wow, this. Wow, this. I, every level, I keep getting it, that thought in my head. Like, okay, this is the most complex level. No, this is the. This right here. This is the most complex level. Fuck any other one. This. This is it. So this is what the puzzle was. The, the inside, the central cavern. And okay it is so okay so it's so this is the central hub to the level where you oh my gosh these uh, all these enemies are annoying so where you can come in here I'm sure there's a tele oh, why do I don't need that yet I'm sure there's a teleporter in here so, yep here it is teleporter in here so you can just come in here and then what do I need okay that that's what I need it for is that a bank vault why do I need to... Why? I have no money in this game. Is that a bank vault? It's a bank vault with eyes! Yeah, what? Okay, hang on. Wait, just... No, no. Dang it, didn't mean to do that. Stupid ass enemies. I want these notes. But I want to I go check out the bank vault with eyes. Because that's not something you see in every, in every game. Stop it! Super stash. Greetings, fleshy ones. Wow, a talking safe. I know, right? Correct, I'm a super stash deluxe four-digit infinite combination reinforced strong box. The four digits only gives you 10,000 combinations. Hey, no one likes a wise guy. It's enough up here. Let's have a look inside, then. Oh, that might be a problem. I seem to have forgotten my own combination. Perhaps they should have spent a little more on your intelligence chip. I know. Sorry, fleshy ones, but if you can find the combination, I'll gladly open up. All right, so I assume... I assume somebody knows the combination to the safe. And I'm sure there's a Jiggy in there. There's gotta be. Are these little paper-thin monsters good for anything? There's more of this red stuff. What was this? What is that in there? It's a... It's, some, it's a switch? Wait a second. Is that a... Is that one of my little cuckoo eggs switch? Can I... I bet you I can shove a cuckoo bird in there. A little tiny one. Well, then what the hell? Oh, my gosh. All right, well, let's go try that. Let's see if there's a spot that I can put one of those eggs in there. Oh, God. Damn it, I hate that thing. And then I take fall damage to boot. If you're going to put something in a game like that, you know, to the point where the player can't see what's about to attack him don't make it to where once he falls and makes that mistake that he could barely see coming to where he'll take even more damage fall damage all right okay well i guess you can see it but you'd have to be paying attention which i don't so is there anything is there a crack in the wall tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and yeah, like that's easy to see. Okay. Well, here we go. It's very red in here. I hear an enemy respawning. Okay. What is it? What? What? Nine?
What what is Oh, it's a number. Okay. All right, so it's not as easy as just knowing the combination. You actually have to go find all the numbers. All right, well, that makes it a little bit harder, which is not what I wanted. The purple paper-thin enemies with salami. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, there's... Oh, my... Fuck you, dude. There's so many ways to go here, so... I... Oh, here, Globo. I don't know where it is. That's the thing. Well, I guess I'll just go outside. This is very challenging, trying to tie up the loose ends of, of something that you have no idea. Oh, this is the evil. This is the evil. Ah, that damn flower tried to attack me. The evil Mumbo. Alright, well then let's... Am I, is he going to attack me? Am I going to get hurt? Is he threatening? Suck one! Oh, it's an actual real Jinjo. Okay. That was not expected at all. I hear someone snoring. Okay, this one's Mumbo too. So which one's the real one? Hello, Banjo. Mumbo is a big surprise for you. Oh, I like surprises. See the evil one? He is the evil one. Minji Jongo, Grafty Shaman Impersonator. Oh, li listen to that. Foolish bear, you fell straight into my trap. I'm not that pathetic shaman you think I am. I'm Minji Jongo, and your worthless quest ends here. Oh, shit. As you see, there's no escape and resistance is futile. All right. Suck one. My elaborate disguise is ruined, revealing my evil side... Whatever it said. Seven? What is Seven. I take it that's how many hits? Okay, so that, that's easy enough. Alright, so you just gotta dodge his stuff and then roll into him or hurt him. Is this... Do I get a, do I get a Jiggy after this? I hope so. Let, let's pray that I do. Because if I do, it's a real simple, real simple fight. Wow, oh man, he, he is... He, they did a good job on his, his sprite model, I will say that. He is creepy looking. Are they homing now? Oh, they are. Oh, dude, suck. You can suck a fat one. Oh, crap. I, I missed it. At least they put one hit in here for you. But it doesn't really seem to matter. Oh, come on. I rolled out of the way. All right, there's... Okay, I got three hits on him left, and I still haven't... No, I did pick up that one. Ah! How are you supposed to survive that? Tell me how. Just like this? Oh, I missed him. Damn it. All right. Well, I guess... How are you supposed to survive those 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 shots? That's my question. Minji Jongo. Damn it. All right. Well, I guess... How are you supposed to dodge that? You cannot dodge that. That is an undodgeable attack. I don't understand. There's that... Freaking! How are you supposed to dodge that? All right, well, take me to the central cavern, I guess. Are you supposed to shoot him with eggs? Like hit him from a distance? Like I don't. What? What just happened? Hey, give me. I want to go. I want to go. No, damn it! I want to go lay on an egg. Let me out. Here we go. Let me out. As in, I I am Kazooie. Let me out. It was this door, right? I believe so. Fuck those little paper thin. How, seriously, how do you dodge that? How do you dodge that fight? Or the not not the not the fight, but the freaking the shots in the fight. What is this? Stack of coins, which opens it. Oh, and you have 20 seconds to get. Oh, and I fell and died. That was unintentional. I just, I fell out of the sky. Just, just f out of the clouds, onto the ground. Kazooie is now literally dead. You want to talk about fall damage? There's your fall damage. Did, uh, oh, here, here, hey. How do you sit down? I forget. 
Not, no, not that one. Damn it. Blow up. Wasted an egg there. I need to switch away from... There we go. It's... No, it's not that one. It's... Oh, it's B. Okay. Z and B. It's a... Butterfly? That's a rare Flotus Floatium creature, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, what is that? That, that... That, that, that does me nothing! Why is that relevant? Uh, it's a Floatius Floatum. Or Floatus Floatium. What a, it's, it, it's, 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 it's a beautifly. I get it. Butterfree, I understand. <sighs> okay, okay. BC, just chill out. You can do this. It's, it's, it's just a video game. This is what you're good at. This is what you've been good at your entire life. Video games. So you should be able to figure this entire thing out. Just take a deep breath and try to make it entertaining for people. Tell stories, he, he says as he talks to himself. Like, here's a good example, even though I'm probably going to get interrupted because of what I come across right now. I hear B, and there's another, another, another one of those eggs. And there's a thing over here, all right. This level reminds me a lot of uh, the clock, cl the, the clockwork clicky clock clock wood from the first game, whatever it's called. Here's a story that I think happened to me about a month ago. I'm surprised I haven't told it yet. It's a really interesting story. Wow, that is a long cannon shot. And, and I... Oh, I land on that thing. Okay. And I just need... I need... Oh, boy. Alright, story time. I'm about to story time your ass before you get too bored. There's a back entrance for one of those little one of uh, these things. Wait for it. Hang on. I have to explore this. Get in there. Alright, what, what's, what's, what's in here? It's a trash can. I get that. Oh, here's another number. Okay, well there's four. I have two of the numbers now. And that is the fourth number. Alright, so I need the first and the third. Okay, no big deal. Alright, so about a month ago, this is a short story too, so, but it, I find this really, really funny. About a month ago, I was at McDonald's, and I'm going to take a, I'm going to fly real quick. Make my way home and turn to fly. Do, 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 boo, do, do, do. I'm going to come over here to Chumba, Wumba's little island here. About a month ago, I was at McDonald's, and I was sitting there. I wasn't eating anything. I was just sitting there in the in the lobby of the restaurant, and and then I found and then I found what the hell is it? what what the f what? what is that? All right. So I was sitting in the lobby of a McDonald's, and there was this girl that was standing up there at the register, getting ready to put her order in. And, you know, she was she was an okay-looking chick. She, you know, like a six or a seven. She wasn't half bad looking. She was just standing there up at the counter, and then all of a sudden this guy comes out of the bathroom, and he sees her, and he goes up to her, and apparently he knows her. You know, they know each other. Does that just go right back to where I just was? Probably does. This guy goes up to this chick like he knows her, and he goes, Oh, hey, you know, and they, they get to chatting. And this guy goes, So, are, are, are you here by yourself? And then as soon as he said that, this dude shot me a look. And it was the funniest thing. He shot me the dirtiest look. Because he was like, he was like, y you with that guy? Like, like I, I'm, you know, he, he shot me a look like, I'm jealous of that guy if you're, if you're here with him. I was like, ah, dude, are you, you jelly? I was like, is it that easy for me to, to not even, you know, it's like, I didn't even have to do anything, and the dude just shot me a look like, you know, you, you, you hitting this right now? And I'm like, no, dude, but, you know, because cause that's, that's an entirely new level of, I mean, it's one thing if the opposite sex thinks you're good looking, it's a completely different thing if the, if the same gender as you think that you're good looking. There's a, there's a move in here. But it doesn't help me since I can't get to it. 
You know, because that was the that was that dude basically saying that that dude's pretty good looking. You know, are, are you with are you here with him or what's going on? You know, I was like, it was kind of flattering, almost. Okay, so I can jump in this water. That being said, is that a sign? It's a sign down at the bottom of the water. All right, well, I guess we'll just go out here. Grab these notes real quick. I think this might be the very last area we explore, and then I'm gonna. I don't, is that a? Is that a freaking? It is. It's underwater. Can, these, are these things aquatic? Okay. Well, then who should I spend it on? Should I spend it on Chumba or Mumbo? That's the question. Look at that. Look at look at look at them flowers. All right. Huh. Oh, okay, whoops, sorry, I had to take a little intermission there. There's an eyeball with a jiggy in it. And it's, 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 it's squishy. Why is never, why isn't anything ever easy? Do I need to be a bee? I think that might be the more useful of the two, because I haven't seen a mumbo a mumbo pad yet. What the hell? Wait, what? What? Wait. How did I not see this? Oh, shit. Oh, it's the guy. Hey, young man, I'm George Ice Cube, stuck up here at this perilous altitude. What happened, George? I was out walking on the icy side of Hailfire Peaks with my wife, Mildred, when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. An ice cube? Why not stay up here? Lovely view. I'm afraid of heights now. I reckon I'm above the icy side. So if you could just give it a little push. Oh, okay, that works. That was a pretty wimpy scream for a, a man ice cube. It's an interesting layout of the map too. Oh, check it out. Oh, he's in. No. Oh, that's so sad. What the f And that doesn't that doesn't do anything for me? Oh shit. Someone's in the air, defend your jiggy at all cost. Oh don't don't shoot me, bro. Oh shit. Oh look, it's it's following me. I didn't do anything! Chill, chill. I wanna go up to the moldy cheese. Hang on. Should I go to the moldy cheese or should I go down to the castle? Moldy cheese, castle. Moldy cheese. Well, we'll go. We'll go to the moldy cheese, I guess. Fuck, you know, it's like it's not like I have anything. What did I just hear? Oh, it's another freaking. Now, does that one have a jiggy in it too? Or what? What's the deal with that? Can I get on top of the moldy cheese? I can get on top of the moldy cheese. Is it going to benefit me in any way, shape, or form getting on top of the moldy cheese as opposed to just walking straight into it? I don't see how it would. Oh boy. Is there anything on top? I wonder what. I know the, the boss for the level is the Minji Jongo, right? So then. Oh uh, wait, what's that over there? Nothing. It's just. Just feathers. There's nothing in the middle of them. They're just feathers. All right. Well, I guess. Okay. Anything? Oh, you're. Oh, I like that. Inside the cheese wedge. The, it's a. It's a callback. There's a reference to this cheese wedge in the trash can in a Creepy Castle in DK64. There's a moldy cheese wedge in that trash can. There's something flying over my head. I just do not know what it is. Alright, I guess I... Whoa, wait, what? What the hell? What? What? Wait, what? No, wait, no. You can't... You, you can't just do that and then leave. You can't just present a platform to me. You can't just present a platform to me like that and then 
just fucking go away. Okay, I see the platform on it, but it's spiky. There's a Jinjo over there. Can I get on this one? Wait a second here. Just wait a second. Just, just, just wait. Or no, it's a series of platforms. All right. Well, all right. Let me leave and then come back real quick. I want to replenish my air supply. And then if I don't, if I can't get this on the first try, I think I'm just gonna end the video here. And I, the reason that is, if anyone, if anyone has given me uh, help so far in the comments below, in the next episode. I'm not sure if any of it... I mean, of course, I would appreciate anything that anyone would have to tell me. But uh, in the next episode, I'm going to do something. Oh, I didn't even stay on it. Okay, now how is that relevant or fair or... Oh, my gosh. This game. This game, dude. Yeah, so on the next episode, we are going to try something that I've never done in a Let's Play video before. Never, ever, ever. And it might be awkward, and it might be weird, but I am I'm, I'm willing to do it at this point because I am completely just confused. Now, does that eyeball have another, does that eyeball have a jiggy in it? No, it doesn't. And what's so special about the other one, bro? Is this a switch here? No, it's a hole. Why is that hole relevant? Where does this send me? Just right up to where I just was? No, it sends me backward. And then there's an egg here. Wait a second. Can I get this egg or is is the entrance to this like up in the air to the point where I can't get it? Wait, I can glide, can I? Fucking... I can't make that glide though. That's... That'd be ridiculous. Alright, so on the next episode... I am going to try something that I've never tried before in a, in a Let's Play video uh, when it comes to getting help. And we're, we're going to come back to this level. We're not going anywhere else. We're going to come to this level. And we are going to do our best. I never read this sign. We're going to do our best to get three Jiggies, maybe more. That sounds daring. Have you looked in this pool yet? No, is there going to be like a, a, a fucking... Oh, it's another Globo! Alright, neat. Neat, 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 neat. Alright, next episode we're going to try something different and uh, come back to this level. Alright, so until then, I'm Broken Champion. This game is really, really, really frustrating. And we're done here.